What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. If you've been around for a while, you'll know that we've been doing some testing, reviewing, and unboxing of Milwaukee's new 3.8 Stubby Impact Driver. This thing's a real dynamo. But if you're new here and you haven't seen the videos, what you can do is you can go on over to this playlist here and go check them out for yourself. Pretty awesome stuff. But today, we want to ask you, the viewers, all of you snap-on loyalists, what are you thinking about the heat that Milwaukee's bringing to the table? Do you think maybe you would switch from snap on to Milwaukee? And all you Milwaukee people out there, you ever think about snap on? What's the reason you never jumped on the snap on truck or bandwagon? But I, I wouldn't say truck because generally you got to buy the tools off the truck. They come around to see you. But let's get the conversation and the show started. So here we go. We got them side by side. We got Milwaukee's M12 Fuel Stubby Impact. This is in the kit form. It comes with a 4 amp hour and a 2 amp hour battery and a charger in a soft bag. Let's look at some of the specifications of this, okay? Number one, this is most compact, it's saying. It's only 4.8 inches in length, allowing for more access in tight spaces. Industry's most compact cordless stubby impact wrench. This is the specification that blows away every other competitor. Up to 250 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. Not only does it have 250 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque, it also has 250 foot-pounds of fastening torque as well. Power State brushless motor delivers the power to complete a wide variety of applications. It's got a four-mode drive control. Proprietary four-mode drive control provides unmatched control. Auto shut-off mode prevents over-tightening of fasteners. In that mode, you're able to run your bolts down. You're not going to snap them off. Pretty cool. As you can see here, the weights and measures. Let's look at the competition, or actually, the, we're going to call it the reigning champion when it comes to the automotive and mechanics industry. We have the Snap-on. This is item CT761A, okay? I got to tell you, Snap-on has a heck of a tool, but when it comes to the website, you know, they ain't got nothing on Milwaukee. This, this is, But let's see here. It says description, okay? Number one, this is a 14, so this is more volts, Okay, 3H drive, micro lithium cordless impact wrench. Okay, this is retailing at $435.95. Here's the overview, 120 foot-pounds of torque output. Now, it doesn't say if that's nut busting or fastening. I'll assume that it's both. Okay, less than half, less than half than the Milwaukee. 2,500 RPM free speed, 55-minute charge time, digital variable speed toggle style trigger, for a precise control. Actually, I think that's pretty thoughtful. There's no select selector switch for forward and reverse. It's just one toggle style trigger. Pretty cool. I, I like that feature. Tri-beam headlights illuminate the work area. Built-in brake stops the tool from throwing sockets and fasteners. Overcurrent and thermal protection. That would be the equivalent of the red lithium technology built into the Milwaukee. Built-in gauge allows you to know the state of the battery charge, you know. Under voltage protection will not overdraw the battery. These are all red lithium technology, whether it's built into the Milwaukee tool or the battery, they all fall under the red lithium technology. Screen motor keeps debris from entering critical components. Cushion, cushion grip handle provides positive tool control, less fatigue. Over and under temperature protection, once again, red lithium technology. Glass filled nylon housing for durability. If we go over to specifications, I mean, we could roll through these. Anvil type friction ring. The battery, you're getting two of them. These are two amp hour batteries that you're getting with the snap on. Battery voltage is higher than than the, the M12. Is that maybe a max rating that they're using there? I mean, you know, I don't know. Blows per minute, we got 3,000. We talked about the charge time. Free speed RPM, 2,500. This is the height with battery in inches, okay? You got 7.7 .7 inches compared to Milwaukee's 7 inches. Length, 6.3 inches. Length, 4.8 inches. 
inches. How stubby is the Milwaukee? Torque output, 120 pounds. It does come with a tool bag. Here you go. Here's another big one. Warranty, battery, one year compared to Milwaukee's three year. Warranty, tool and charger, years, one. Milwaukee gives you a five year warranty with 1.9 inches. You know, we're a little bit fatter on the stubby, but that would be the definition of the stubby. Short and stout. <laughs> Country or, or, yeah, of origin, you got the, it says CHN. Was that the Czech Republic? No, it's China. Let's say China. We know that the Milwaukee is also made China. in China. We know that the Milwaukee has four modes. Speed 1's offering you 1,200 RPM. Speed 2's 1,800 RPM. Speed 3, 2,700 RPMs. The fourth mode, the auto shutoff mode, is giving you between 1,500 and 2,700 RPMs, but you can't over-tighten or over-fasten those fasteners. Pretty cool feature. The IPMs or impacts are in speed 1, 1,100, speed 2, 2,100, speed 3, 3,200. This is the deal. We have a tool from Milwaukee that's pretty much blowing this, this snap-on competitor away. And we see the price here, $435.95 from snap-on. It's coming with two 2-amp-hour batteries. What can we expect to pay for all of this? From the Milwaukee Tool Corporation. Like, you know, we're getting a 4-amp-hour battery, a 2-amp-hour battery. We're getting specifications that are just blowing away the snap-on. We're getting a better warranty. What can we expect? $800? Is that what this Milwaukee's costing? Well, let's go over and see where we can buy it. Boom. We go on over to Acme Tool, and you get the kit. Okay, $249 at Acme Tool. You could buy almost, I mean, you can't buy two of these snap-ons, but it's pretty doggone close. You could buy one, you know, one kit and easily buy one tool only if you wanted to. That's crazy. I mean, you have a second battery here. You could run the second tool with the second battery. It's, it's an enormous savings and a lot of performance. And if you like enormous savings and enormous performance from your tools, snap on the like button. I mean, smash the like button. But here's the deal. We want your comments down below. Why is it you would go with the Snap-on? Why is it you would go with the Milwaukee? We want to hear your feedback. Maybe there's some thing about the Snap-on we're just not taking into consideration. I, I just can't think of what it would be. I mean, I guess the only thing would be that I don't have a Milwaukee guy drive up to my to my place of business in a Milwaukee truck and drop the tools off and pick them up if they ever break. You know what I mean? I don't you know. Is that, is that the allure? The snap-on truck comes, it's nice and shiny, and it delivers the tools? And I don't know. But let us know down in the comments section below. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you being here. Get the conversation started. We'll see you on the next one in the meantime. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.